Scorpio, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, you are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Um, it's a nice day today. I'm feeling good. Uh, I just want to apologize. I'm going through a lot of healing lately, so I haven't been posting as much as um, I used to, but you know, it's always quality over quantity with me. So um, as long as who is supposed to be getting the messages is getting the right messages, that's what I care about. Uh, so, but thank you. Thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for your support of my channel. Uh, to all those of you that have been booking me for personal reading, thank you. Thank you so much. It is, uh, I am humbled and I am eternally grateful uh, for, for you allowing me to be able to share my gifts with you. I do genuinely appreciate it. Okay. So remember, this is a general energy check-in. So I wanted to do something different today, but we'll see what spirit wants because Scorpio, this is just a reading about you. What's going on with you? If someone shows up in your reading, someone's energy shows up in your reading, it is what it is. But I'm focusing on what's going on with you, baby. Okay? So let's see what spirit has for you. Thank you, spirit, for your clear and concise messages. I'm here and I understand them. Uh, what is going on with Scorpio right now in life? What is going on with Scorpio? What would you like Scorpio to know right now? So remember, this is a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with all of you. Either it resonates or it doesn't. Do not try to force the shoe to fit. It will only confuse you. Uh, also, feel free to book me for a personal reading. I do have my live tarot line up now. You could get a phone uh, over the phone reading with me live. Uh, or also some intuitive counseling if that's something that you are looking for. That information is in my description box. And don't forget to take a look around and browse around in my, my new online merch store. It is a co-creative project with me and my beautiful daughter, the art of the family and universe of course so uh, anything just have a look around you never know you may see something you may find something you're looking for it's all there for you in the description box okay so we have here nine of wands spirit what are the messages do you have for Scorpio we have queen of cups there you are Scorpio there you are We have the lovers. Like I said, if someone else shows up in your reading, then they show up. But this is about you, baby. Okay, Spirit, can I get one more message for Scorpio? We have King of Coins. Okay. Okay, so for some of my Scorpies, it looks like you have been... You may have been feeling really tired lately. Uh, you've gone through a battle with someone and it has left you feeling just absolutely drained, exhausted. Some of you may feel like giving up with someone. Now, this is a soulmate situation here. Some of you are dealing with a soulmate. Mm -hmm. And this person is, they show up as the king of coins. This could be uh, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But... You love this person, mm -hmm, you do, and you just, you kind of feel like you don't want to, you don't know what move to make with this person. You kind of feel like you just gave up, you want to give up, but spirit is telling you to keep moving forward. What's to be will be. If you're supposed to be with this person, you will be with this person because what's for you is for you. But right now, I feel like spirit wants you to focus on regaining your energy a lot of you if you have been feeling tired a lot of you have been sleeping a lot of you may have been even feeling lethargic at times uh there are some days where it doesn't matter how much sleep you get you're still tired this is you recharging your energy you've been through a lot scorpio and it is time for you to take a break uh some of you too those that are single in this collective you still need time to heal because even though you have uh, other options or you have people who are interested in you, if you know it or not, you are still kind of guarded. But it's because you've learned, right? You show up as queen of cups. You're grounded, you're loving, but you love with wisdom now because you've learned from what has happened in the past with someone. Mm -hmm. Some of you may have a child or children with this person, but 
you just feel like with this person, it, it's always going to be something, right? Uh, some of you are at your wit's end with somebody and you are really contemplating walking away. Mm -hmm. Right now, some of you are just taking time to yourself. You step back and you're really just focusing on being grounded within yourself, being good with you because you're tired. Mm -hmm. You are tired of arguing and fighting with someone. You are tired of this back and forth with somebody. Mm -hmm. But there is love there. There is real love there. It's just, um, I'm hearing a battle of wills. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody who they may feel like a know-it-all or you can't talk to them or like what you have to say is not of no value to them. Some of you, you're dealing with someone who has very low self-esteem, so they put on this front like they, they may be better than you or you are inferior. Mm -hmm. But this person loves you. They do. They just need to deal with their own inner shit. Yes. Some of you could be dealing with someone who is a business owner or entrepreneur. But I do feel this very warm. It's just, it's very warm. It's very soothing. But you're tired. You're tired of the back and forth with this person. And I do feel some of you, you're at this, you're in this space where you're just like, fuck it. If, if this is going to keep continuing, then I'd rather just be single, right? I'd rather just be here with my kids because I'd at least then I'll have peace, peace of mind, peace of soul, right? Peace in general. Harmony, balance in my life. You show up as the queen of cups, Scorpio. You're balanced. You're good. You're good. Mm -hmm. You love yourself. And now anybody that comes towards you or anybody that's interested in you, they have to love you just as much as you love yourself or better. Mm -hmm. Because you love with intelligence now. A lot of you may be feeling like uh, you're in a, the wounded warrior energy. And I just feel this energy that you just, you've just been tired. You're tired of the back and forth with somebody, right? It's like we're either doing something or we're not. Make up your mind, right? I feel, Scorpios, that some of you may have made up your mind. I feel like some of you are ready to throw in the towel with somebody because you're tired. Mm -hmm. And you just... You could have been dealing with some deception in the this relationship with this person. Mm -hmm. There could have been some lies. I feel like there was um, hidden emotions. Someone was not acting. How do I put this? So the way how they really felt about you, that's not what they were showing you. They were showing you some bullshit mm -hmm. to try to make it seem like if you're there or you're not there, it's not a big deal. But it is a big deal to this person. Mm -hmm. They're putting up a front. But Scorpio, you don't have fucking time for bullshit like that. You grow. Mm -hmm. It's either we're doing something or we're not. Mm -hmm. So you kind of with this person, even though you would move forward with them, you were kind of low key expecting the other shoe to drop or expecting them to fuck up. Mm -hmm. Because this person would do that. Yeah. So I feel like a lot of you are just taking a break from somebody because you just don't want to deal with the bullshit. Because like I said, you're tired of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of you have learned, you have grown, you have matured uh, spiritually, mentally, energetically, right? So the things that you would put up with in the past, you don't do that anymore, right? You got bigger fish to fry. Mm -hmm. Because you've learned from past mistakes. Hmm. I feel like this person wants to be with you and that this person is, um, they are in love with you. They are. I feel like for some of you, this person wants to marry you. Yeah. But I do feel like they're hiding it though. Like they don't want to, I'm picking up the energy of somebody who, they don't want to let you go, but they don't want to let you in. You understand what I'm saying? They don't want to fully open up to you and show you they will be vulnerable with you. Mm -hmm. This person, uh, they show up as uh, king of coins. So 
They could be really focused on their money. This is somebody who is stable mm -hmm, or has the potential to be very stable. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody who they will take care of the family, right? They will make sure bills are paid and everything that it needs to be taken care of financially is taken care of. So they not, may not be all that big on showing their emotions. They show it in other ways. They show it by being stable. Some of you are dealing with, um, you're dealing with a king of coins, but it's someone who is there in the process of becoming that, right? So they still go on with some fuckery sometimes, right? Because they're not fully there yet. They're, they're getting, they're going to get there though. Mm -hmm. But Scorpio, this person wants to marry you because they look at you as their soulmate. They know you are their soulmate. 150%, they know that. Mm -hmm. They just keep... I just feel the energy of someone who just can't really get it right. They keep messing up. Mm -hmm. And they feel like the way that they're doing things is the right way, but the results speak for themselves, right? The proof is always in the pudding. If you were doing the right thing, your relationship would be different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I just, when I started this reading, I was feeling this very exhausted energy. A lot of you are, like I said, you are very tired. You have gone through a battle. Mm -hmm. You have come out the other end of a karmic cycle that was fucking hot as fuck. Okay? I don't know how else to say it. You went through the fire. So be proud of yourself. Brush your shoulders off, Scorpio. Because other signs would not have been able to go through the things you have gone through and come out with such grace and poise. Okay? Come out with such strength. Be able to rise from the ashes. Some signs, when they get burned, they burn. That's it. They ashes. Scorpio, not you. Remember, you're the phoenix. You rise from the ashes. You turn to diamonds from pressure. Okay? So be proud of yourself. It's okay to be tired right now. But Spirit wants you to know to keep moving forward no matter what. You are going to get what you want. Some of you have started a project or started some kind of work. And you're realizing that it's a lot more work than you anticipated. But Spirit said, do not, do not give up. Success is just around the corner for you. Keep going no matter what. If you have to take a rest, take a rest. But do not quit. Things are going to improve for you. Some of you, money may be a little bit tricky right now in these times. Spirit wants you to be conscious of your finances. Be conscious of your spending. I'm hearing for you to differentiate between your needs and your wants right now. Right now, you need to focus on what you need. Your wants will come later. Mm -hmm. You are working on laying a foundation to be able to get your wants. Mm -hmm. Also, Spirit wants you to guard your money. And I feel like that is just frivolous spending. You know, a lot of people are going crazy on online shopping. Spirit said, Scorpio, don't even deal with that. <laughs> no, save your money. Invest in things that are going to bring a return of investment for you. Your biggest and most important investment, Scorpio, will always be yourself. So whatever it is that you are working on right now, keep working on it. Spirit said, even if you feel tired, it's okay. Take a rest. It's okay to take a rest for a day or two. Just keep going. I cannot stress this enough. Keep going. Success is right there. You are right there at the door you are right at the finish line do not give up a lot of you too spirit wants you to focus on um meditation and as some of you if you want um uh, your energy just to get your energy levels up um sleep water exercise and reiki uh, i'm a reiki practitioner level two reiki practitioner myself so i can do reiki on myself but um, some of you, you could just go out and look for a Reiki practitioner or learn how to do Reiki on yourself. You know, Scorpios are very big on learning how to do things themselves because uh, they're very big on self being self-sufficient. You are a very self-sufficient sign. Mm -hmm. You're self-reliant. So uh, Reiki is really good to uh, release um, stuck, stagnant energy, uh, break up energy that needs to flow. Mm hmm so that you can balance out your chakras. So I encourage you for some of you to go and look for a Reiki healer, a trusted Reiki healer, or learn how to do Reiki on yourselves, you know? 
but spirit is advising you to do that that would be good uh, and i i was i was picking up this energy from you of just being very tired like really tired like you could sleep all day and wake up tired right you've been through a lot you learned a karmic cycle you learned a lot of karmic lessons you just came through a karmic cycle okay some of you the cycle lasted 18 years 11 to 18 years so you're gonna be tired it's okay but you passed okay you passed you're allowed to stop and get some water you're allowed to take a nap okay but spirit just said do not quit whatever you're doing do not quit you're right there okay okay so let's see what other messages spirit has for you let me see what's going on in your sub subconscious scorpio spirit what's going on in the subconscious of the scorpio collective that you would like them to be aware of thank you We have two of earth in reverse. We have nine of earth in reverse. Oh, okay. Oh. Scorpio, we have um, emotions in reverse, and we have uh, King of Air. Okay, so it looks like right now, Scorpies, some of you, like I said, you may be having trouble uh, balancing your finances right now. It may be a little bit tricky for you financially. You're, you're having trouble trying to juggle things, right? Uh, <laughs> I just heard someone say, I don't have anything to juggle. Keep going. You will. Okay. Um, you're not being giving enough to yourself, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's because you're worried. You're worried about your finances. You're worried about your love life. You're worried. Scorpio, cut the shit. <laughs> okay. You don't have anything to worry about. Remember what you thoughts are things. So what you think about, how you feel, that's what's going to manifest. Spirit wants you to learn how to be more giving to yourself and that is giving in all areas, more loving, more kind, uh, more caring, more compassionate, more empathetic towards yourself. The same way you are to other people, be that way to yourself first. Mhm. Mm this is going to help you to learn how to juggle things better. I also feel like, too, because you guys are so tired, you're not trying to, you're too tired to juggle things now. What you just went through, 11 to 18 years, you tired. Mm -hmm. I also feel like, Scorpios, you're not taking no shit from nobody. You will give someone the smoke. Yes, you will. Mm -hmm. You're not suppressing your emotions anymore. If something's bothering you, you're going to let people know that something's bothering you or you're going to address it. Uh, I feel like some of you told someone, you gave someone the smoke as well. You could have given uh, a king of air smoke. Yeah, you told someone how you felt about something, why you felt the way you did. And I just feel like Scorpios, you're not, you're not hiding and talking anymore. You have something to say, you're going to say it. And you don't give a shit who likes it or not. You're speaking your truth and you're standing in your power. Because you're just, you don't have time anymore. Mm -mm. You're also in this energy of standing in your truth where you're looking at facts of things now. Mm -hmm. Some of you can be coming off, a, you may be coming off a little bit cold to people or abrupt or insensitive. But it's just because you've been through so much, you're just not putting up with bullshit you're just not, right? Mm -hmm. So you're speaking your truth. And like I said, if someone likes it, great. If they don't, that's a them problem, not yours. Mm -hmm. A lot of you too, you're seeing through the bullshit of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are. It's like you have this clarity now and you just cut right to the core of what's going on in a situation. Mm-hmm. That's why I was picking up in this, um, with the, what is it, with the king of coins, 
this situation, the nine of wands with the king of coins, it's like you see right through the bullshit now when you're not having it. So you're just like, either we're doing something or we're not. And I feel like you told somebody that. Mm -hmm. And they may not have liked it, but someone feels like you're not being giving to them as well. Mm -hmm. Anymore. Uh, someone feels like you're not... Um, It's not that you're not juggling them. It's that you are not prioritizing them in your life anymore. Someone feels like that. And someone can see that. Yeah. That they're not a priority. And you may have told someone that you're not fucking with them and like that on that level anymore because they play too much damn games. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Spirit, what are the messages do you have for... Scorpio, what other messages do you have for Scorpio? Spirit wants you to start being better with yourself, Scorpio. Uh, some of you, you really need to start uh, getting outside more. Mm -hmm. uh, eating better. And doing things that are going to help you to grow in life now. Mm-hmm. Spirit wants you to learn how to give to yourself first and foremost. Make yourself a motherfucking priority in your life. Mm -hmm. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Scorpio? Oh, okay, this one's like... <laughs> Didn't I say this? Yin and yang. You have completed a cycle. Mm-hmm. And it's wrap up season, wrap, wrap up season now. Okay. So anything from the past that does not serve you, that does not add value to your life, Scorpio, you're not having it. Absolutely not. And like I said, look at this. This is emotions in reverse. You're not holding shit back from nobody. They will get the smoke. So they need to watch their ass. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Okay, yin and yang spirit. I'm just going to clarify yin and yang, Scorpio. We have intuition. Of course, the water sign. That's too much, spirit. That's too much. Any more messages, spirit, for yin and yang? <laughs> we have three of earth. And can I get one more, Spirit? Can I get one more? Okay, we have four of air in reverse. Okay, so Spirit is letting you know that you have completed a karmic cycle and you have entered a new one. So this is a brand new chapter in your life, Scorpio. In this chapter of your life, you need to use your intuition. Your inner compass is going to guide you. Mm -hmm. Your inner sight, your insight is going to guide you because you've learned shit already. Mm -hmm. You've learned from mistakes of the past. You're not repeating those things anymore. Mm -hmm. In this new cycle, you're going to be doing a lot of investing, a lot of planting seeds. Remember what I said, your biggest and most important investment is your damn self. Not even damn. I take that back. Your divine self. Okay. So a lot of you spirit wants you to learn how to Make sure you're surrounding yourself with better influences, dropping influences and habits that no longer serve you. Some of you, you're learning how to get over addiction, smoking, drinking. I just heard sex for some of you. Feeling like you need other people, uh, getting over codependency issues, uh, healing from inner child wounds. Yes. A lot of you are learning how to um, be more structured, more disciplined, have more of a routine. Because some of you, you are, the seeds that you're planting, when I say they are going to grow into something, you ever, what is that, um, that fairy tale Jack and the Beanstalk? Yes, that little seed that grew all the way up to the heavens. That's what you're building, okay? So Spirit Note wants you to know that you're going to have to drop some things now to match the vibration of who you are now and who you are becoming. You understand what I mean? I just heard uh, you can't act like you don't know and you can't act like you don't see. So it's this is spirit saying now that you know better, do better. Now that you are better with yourself, be better in your life. Create better for yourself. 
Mm -hmm. And that's what you're doing. Spirit just wants you to learn how to be more disciplined, have more structure. Mm -hmm. Drop bad influences, bad habits. Let go of bad influences in your life. If there are some people around you that are not adding value to your life, Scorpio, Spirit wants you to scrap their ass. And make room for better people to come in. Mm -hmm. Because in this season, in this chapter, you are planting seeds, like I said, that are going to grow to the heavens, right? And what I mean by that is the things that you are going to be growing, the things that you are going to be pulling and anchoring onto this earth, they do not come from here, okay? They come from upstairs. Divine guidance, divine knowledge, mm -hmm. that you are going to be planting seeds on this planet to help I'm hearing help grow from generations to come. The things that you're going to be sharing with people, the services, the products, the knowledge, the wisdom you are going to be sharing and offering people. A lot of you are creating businesses or creating services or improving on other services that people don't know about now, right? They're coming from upstairs, 5D. They're coming from, I'm hearing 5D and higher. Like I said, a lot of you are star seeds. You're not even from this fucking planet. So the things that you are anchoring onto this earth, they do not come from here. So it's brand new, fresh for the human race. They don't know about doing things from a space of love and light. What's that? It's all about darkness and selfishness and resentment and anger and hate here. You are helping to eliminate all of that shit by being holding the light from the grid on this planet. Scorpio is getting deep, man. It's getting deep. It's getting deep. So spirit wants you to know that to anchor the light that is coming onto this planet as a star seed, as a light worker, as an empath, as a divine being, as a soul creating a human experience, you are going to have to change up. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to change up. Excuse me, someone's calling me. But I'm not coming off because I'm talking to my Scorpios. Okay, so this is, it's like a cycle of you just, I'm hearing your, your physical world is going to start to match your energetic world. So your outer world is starting to match up with your inner world, right? As within, so without. So the changes that you have done through this karmic cycle, they are going to be manifesting in your outer world. That's why a lot of you are starting new businesses, uh, partnering with new people. A lot of you too are, I'm seeing someone jogging, getting up in the morning and jogging, doing yoga. Someone makes some kind of smoothies with like chia seeds or flax seeds, just eating healthier. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing someone do meditation outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm seeing somebody who clears their chakras on a regular basis and the light, the light that you call to yourself. Jeez, Whew. I just want to stand beside you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hear, Scorpio, you know what I just heard? You are the salt of the earth. Uh-huh. You change things. Mm-hmm. And you change things, Scorpio, because <laughs> I, I keep hearing metamorphosis because you've learned how to change yourself through healing, through self-love. Mm -hmm. And you're at this time, especially in this stage of your journey, you are your intuition has been heightened, right? That is your inner compass. Listen to your intuition. All the time, all day, every day. You do not make one move without listening to your intuition. And I strongly feel that with you, Scorpios. You are allowing your intuition to teach you and guide you on what to invest in and what not to invest in anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to pull some spirits to tell you uh, to keep going no matter what. I don't, I don't know why spirit is stressing this to you Scorpio but whatever it is you're working on you will get there for those of you that are in a relationship with someone things are going to get better spirit said to use your intuition though remove toxicity if it's toxic let it go mm -hmm. and make room for something better and if it's if it's not take your time take your break and things will heal Spirit, what other messages do you have for Scorpio in closing? What other guidance and advice do you have for Scorpio in closing? Spirit said something big is coming towards you, Scorpio. Go and meet it. Do your part. 
Mm -hmm. Somebody in this collective is going to win the lottery. At least three people in this collective is going to win the lottery. And you're going to know exactly what to do with it. And that's why it manifested, because you know what to do with it. We have your inner child. Didn't I just say that? A lot of you are learning how to heal your inner child. Spirit, can I get another one, please? Oh, do what you love. Spirit, can I get one more for my beautiful Scorpios? Emotional release. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Scorpio. In this chapter of your life, Spirit wants you to focus on uh, continuing to do your inner child work. Your inner child needs attention today, right? Uh, get your rest. Uh, one of the exercises that I do is I, before I go to my bed, I go and check in on my inner child. How are you doing today? Do you need anything from me? Mm -hmm. What's going on? You want to just take a nap? Let's take a nap. Let's go to the park. Let's eat some strawberries, right? I go in, I go within and, and in my mind, I imagine me just with my inner child, we're braiding each other's hair, we're painting, we're having a good time. Go and give your inner child some attention. Your inner child is lonely. Mm -hmm. Develop a strong, nurturing, supportive relationship with your inner child. Remember, you are reparenting your inner child. So everything that you did not get, um, neglect, uh, all your inner issues of rejection, loneliness, not feeling good enough, you go back and you give those things to your inner child. And watch your outer world change. Mm -hmm. A broken bond with a parent may need healing, rekindling, or exploring. Some of you Scorpios, uh, you need to deal with uh, parenthood issues, right? If you have to go back and talk to a parent if they're here, uh, or who do you need to forgive as a parent? Did you have one of your parents that wasn't around? Or just learning how to just release it altogether. It's over. I've healed and I've moved on. Do you need to do that? Seek a professional to help you heal childhood traumas. I feel like Scorpios, a lot of you, because you are, you are naturally very strong. You are naturally um, emotionally strong, right? So a lot of times people think that things don't bother you because Scorpio is like this. Cool as a cucumber, but inside you're like fucking fuck, <laughs> right? But nobody would know because you're like this. <laughs> okay but inside underneath the surface oh my god right so a lot of times people don't know when something's going on with you and you can you have a tendency to just keep everything in and keep it moving and that is good but in this chapter of your life you have balance so you know when you have to go in and do some healing and when you keep moving when you this you feeling tired as well this is you having to deal with your inner child wounds this is you having to do some healing on yourself so spirit is saying it's okay to rest don't give up but take time to rest. There's a reason why you're so tired. If you need to speak to somebody, find someone that you trust. This could be a close confidant, someone that you know and you trust and you feel comfortable opening up to. You could speak to your guides, your angels, your ancestors. They will lead you to someone else to speak to too. Also, I have my intuitive counseling line open as well. And I specialize in emotional inner child wounds because I myself am healing from them and I had to heal from a lot, right? I would not be here today if I did not start doing some inner child healing. Allow yourself to have more fun in life, Scorpio. Remember, all work and no play is not a good day, <laughs> okay? So learn how to have balance. And this is what this card is about. That's why I came in reverse. Some of you are focusing too much on work, and that's also why you're too tired, right? It's like you're not allowing the energy to flow in other areas of your life. If you want to create abundance in all areas of your life, then you have to give it the, um, the right amount of attention that it needs, all areas of your life. So nothing's wrong with working. You know, we know how it is on this planet, but it's not about working hard. It's about working smart. And in my book, working smart is making sure that your inner world is balanced and you're at peace you have harmony, you are feeling happy and joyful within yourself and you're creating from that space. That is working smart to me because you can get a lot more done when you're not feeling stressed. It is a very important, um, uh, I make it a priority to make sure that whatever I'm doing, I do it from a very relaxed and focused space. I don't work under pressure. If I feel like I'm pressured to do something, I'm not doing it mm -mm. because I know it's quality over quantity for me. 
Spirit wants you to do some emotional releasing right now. This has to do with healing. This all falls into healing. Release stored emotions now in order to improve your health. And that's what I felt like you were doing. A lot of you, like I said, you are doing yoga, meditation, going outside more. And this is because you are learning how to release that stuck, stagnant, stale um, energy within you. Uh, a lot of you, that's why Spirit was advising you, advising you to do uh, Reiki. Uh, to release, help you to uh, release and allow energy to flow through your chakras better. Reduce excessive long-term stress immediately. Like I said, Scorpios, you can work well under pressure, but you don't, it's not a good way to be, right? It's just like you can work from um, a high vibration or a low vibration, right? So it's the same way how you can be in a good relationship or be in a bad relationship. You're still in a relationship. Spirit wants you to realize that in order for you to get the things done that you want to get done, the seeds that you're planting in this new chapter of your life, you need to reduce long-term stress immediately, okay? So let it go and go with the flow of your life identify unhealed trauma that may be causing physical harm in your body some of you you are tired mm -hmm. because you your heart is broken because you are dealing with issues of neglect i'm not feeling good enough not loving yourself not feeling compassion empathy for yourself spirit wants you to identify these things and start healing them because they will manifest in other areas of your life that is why some of you are having trouble juggling other areas of your life and it's because of unhealed trauma it will manifest in some way shape or form if you do not feel balanced and at peace with yourself from the inside it's going to manifest is as it unbal imbalances in your life and feeling um out of sorts confused chaotic right Channel your emotions into a creative project or physical activity today. And I feel like a lot of you are learning how to do that by doing, I saw someone jogging, doing exercise, going outside more often, uh, doing more creative projects. Some of you, this bean stock that you are growing up to the heavens, up to the ethers, it comes from a place of being healed. Mm -hmm. Because you are channeling all of that anxiety, all of that stress, all of that loneliness. You are channeling it and you are transmuting it into something higher. Face issues as they arise rather than avoiding them. Scorpio, I know you. <laughs> okay? When you don't want to deal with something, you don't. Mm -hmm. So someone can stand there forever holding the bag. If you said that you're done with them, they're going to hold that bag until they mold the fuck over. You're not dealing with it. But that's not always the best thing to do. That's not always the best way to be. You know, it's a lot better to deal with issues as they arise so they don't keep coming back. It's just like um, if you have a wound, right? Instead of allowing it to heal, you keep picking it, right? You got to let it heal. You got to deal with things. You got to heal things or they're just going to keep coming back until you do. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to have more fun have more fun, Scorpio. Didn't I say that? A Scorpio that's not having fun is not happy. You got to you gotta mix it up. You know, go out more often. Talk to more people. Talk to new people. But it's not all about just work and no play. You know, you got to have balance. Discover activities that suit your current tastes and interests. A lot of you are changing. A lot of you are going to discover these things. And that is why you are going to be building uh, something that comes from a place of passion right? A lot of you are going to be discovering new things because you are dropping things that no longer serve you. Mm -hmm. Make time to enjoy a hobby on a regular basis. This is discovering your passions. Your passions lead you to your purpose. Spirit is setting your ass up for success. Scorpio, follow your yellow brick road. Follow the purple stars, I heard. Mm -hmm. Join a group or a club. Go meet some people. And I feel like some of you are going to be meeting someone, a new romantic partner, because you are getting out there. You're putting yourself out there more. Mm -hmm. And it's coming from a space of I'm just happy and I'm healed, healed and I'm whole. Choose the path or decision that brings you the most joy. Scorpio, can I say this again? Spirit is setting your ass up for success. Spirit wants you to enjoy this chapter of your life because you deserve it. Okay? Okay, Scorpius, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button for me. If not, that's cool. Another time. With that being said, be sure to check out the information in my description box. There's a lot of things there for you. Um, and it's all to help you to be the best versions of yourself and to enjoy.
your life. Okay, so Scorpius, have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.